Hello students, in this video we are going to see that how we can find the pKa value of a compound using your visible electronic spectroscopy. pKa is actually the pH value at which the protonation and deprotonation of a compound is at equilibrium with each other. For example, as you can see here in this figure, you can see the addition of the two protons to form this compound is in equilibrium with the formation of this compound by the removal of two protons. So the protonation and deprotonation is at equilibrium with each other. So this occurs at a specific pH for every compound and we can find out that pH value using the electronic absorption spectroscopy of the compound. So the first step in that is you need to take the UV visible spectra of that compound at different pH values. It means you will have to make your solution at different pH ranging from the very low pH values to the higher pH values. For example, here in this figure you can see uh, the UV visible spectra of the compound is plotted at different pHs that is ranging from pH 1.2 to pH 12 per 9. And you can see that the absorption peaks, they are changing in absorption as the pH value is changing. This is one of the peak position, which is changing drastically. And this is another peak position or group of peaks that are changing drastically in the absorption values. So the next step is that uh, we find out uh, one or two peak positions which are having drastic changes in absorbance for the compound. And what we do, let's suppose we take this one peak and we record or make a table of the data of the absorbance values with the pH. At pH, let's suppose 1.2, we have this absorbance. At pH 2.3, we have a decreased absorbance. We note it down in the table and then at pH 4 and pH 6 and similarly if we are absorbance uh, measuring the absorbance we are going to make uh, the values of the absorbance at this values at this peak values so all of the values of the absorbance will be coming at the same peak position not here this will be the peak position so we will be measuring the absorbance values at this position even at 12 and 9 we will be observing we will be recording the absorbance value at this position so it is actually decreasing with the pH value and then uh, becoming constant value so once we have this data in the form of the table the next step is that we need to plot a graph we plot the absorbances that we have noted on the y-axis and the pH values corresponding to these absorbances on the x-axis so here you can see the absorbance was decreasing, uh, decreasing slightly as the pH was increasing and then there was the kind of slight uh, change in the absorbance values and then you see at the end of the pH values it is almost becoming constant. So in order to find out the value of pKa what we do we take the mean value of the maximum absorbance and the minimum absorbance. And now we see what is the mean value. Let's suppose the mean value is coming here at this point. And we draw a straight line from this absorbance values to which intersect this line, this plot. And we go downward on the x-axis. And this pH value, this corresponds to the pKa of the compound. So in this way, we can use the data of electronic absorption spectroscopy to find out the pKa of the compound. Thank you.